Hi you guys, it's Amanda with Healthy House on the Block and I'm here with another weekly video and tip on creating an indoor space that truly supports your health and wellness. This week we're going to be talking about the buzzword, greenwashing. We're going to talk about what it is and what it means for you as a consumer. Greenwashing has become a very popular term. I think a lot of us know kind of what it is, but I'm going to give you the actual definition and there are actually, believe it or not, a few of them. And we're going to talk about what it means for products, what you need to watch for, essentially how you can protect yourself and your home when you're shopping for products and not just blindly trusting what a brand may be putting on their product. Unfortunately for us as consumers, we have to take that burden into our own hands and we need to be doing research and really making sure that we understand products and the ingredients inside of them, not just the words on the label. So I have broken everything down for you into slides that we're gonna go through next. If you're someone who really likes to read the post or click on links to bring you to more in-depth research, I would encourage you to click the link at the bottom of my video description. It will bring you directly to my blog post this week, which covers everything we're about to talk about. Otherwise, if you are someone who likes to just watch, relax, take in all that information, let's get going. So generally, I am a trusting person right off the bat when it comes to meeting people. I'm someone who trusts wholeheartedly right away that everyone is good. I also used to be this type of person with products and foods that I bought. I saw something on a label and would never think that someone would be deceitful in their marketing. Now, however, I'm definitely a more conscious consumer and someone who verifies before I buy certain things. Maybe it's from past experience with brands that were clearly greenwashing their marketing, or maybe it's just increasing awareness as I get older. Either way, it has been a somewhat frustrating realization that I can't just read a label or package and trust that it's healthy for my home and my family. I know personally, I would want to believe that greenwashing really stems from ignorance of companies rather than misleading or deceitfulness. But the truth is that we as consumers really need to take our home into our own hands. After all, chances are you are your home's biggest advocate. There is no one who is going to care about the health and wellness of your home and family like you. So with that in mind, it's time to take a moment and really look at what we're purchasing for our house, but not in the sense that you think it's time to take back our right to choose just what we want to be in our homes. And it's time to stop letting brands convince us with their marketing. Here's all you need to know about how to spot a greenwashed brand and product. These tools are going to help you get a healthy home product or material without falling for greenwashing tricks and language. So to start out, let's talk about what is greenwashing anyways. I've read a few definitions of greenwashing over the years, and basically what it boils down to is a company using language in their marketing or products to make it seem like they're environmentally friendly, healthy, or safe to use when that may not really be the case. I've also come to understand that it can mean that a company spends more of their money and effort on the promotion of their product than on the environmentally friendly practices that they advertise. Either way, it boils down to the fact that some terms and words are completely unregulated in marketing. In fact, most words and phrases are not regulated at all on packages. A brand can truly add almost any phrase or word that they want to their product without getting into too much trouble. It's frustrating, but it's a very real problem we as consumers need to navigate, whether we know it or not. Another little loophole that comes into play is the trade secret rule. Essentially, a company that has filed for a trade secret patent does not have to disclose the ingredients within that product by law. 
this rule was created to protect special formulas and recipes from being copied, but it can make it very difficult to figure out if a product does in fact contain safe or healthy ingredients. It can even be difficult to find out what, if any, ingredients are in a particular product when this trade secret rule comes into play. The biggest culprit of greenwashing, in my opinion, are cleaning products. And I mean cleaning products of all kinds. Bathroom cleaners, laundry detergents, window cleaners, and everything in between. These products can use words like green or natural, and it does not mean a single thing. Another grouping of products to watch out for are personal care products like soap, shampoo, and lotions, even deodorants. These are another group of products where people are generally looking for a healthier option, and the marketing department for these brands knows it. Be very careful when shopping for these types of products. And finally, products like home improvement and maintenance solutions. Bug sprays, paints, and flooring may advertise low VOC or even non-toxic, but again, those don't mean the product is safe or healthy. It can sometimes mean that there is one component of the material that is non-toxic, but not the entire product, which in my opinion can be very deceptive. So how do you spot a greenwashed product? A product that has zero certifications or third-party checks on it is a huge red flag. And even then, understanding that not all certifications are equal in nature is just as important. Each third-party certification hones in on a few areas of a product to ensure particular toxins are not being used. But you can also look for buzzwords that have no true credentials or proof to back it up. Some really unregulated words that can get thrown into the marketing package might be natural, non-toxic, earth-friendly, all-natural, eco-friendly, clean, biodegradable, ethical, green, and cruelty-free. A product that offers no ingredient list could also be a red flag. However, sometimes you can easily find an ingredient list on their website. If you can't and they won't offer you any sort of insight into what they're using to create the product, I'd say that also is a red flag. So how do you find products that are not greenwashed? Find databases for particular product groups that list out low toxin or toxin free options. I have linked you to a post that I did specifically on this in the blog post this week. You can click the link at the end of the video description and find that. You can use trustworthy databases like EWG, Clearia, and the Think Dirty app. Another way you can find toxin-free products is by finding healthy home experts who can point you to a healthier product. Make sure it's an individual you trust and someone who has a few credentials or experience under their belt. Obviously, the internet can be full of opinions from all sides, so don't hesitate to find someone who has a little bit of scientific research linked or who has some logic behind their recommendation. You can also contact companies yourself and look at their ingredient list if you feel like this is in your wheelhouse. A company who publishes their ingredient list is usually a company who wouldn't be embarrassed of a component of their product. Check websites first, and then if you're unable to find an ingredient list, you can always contact the company for more information. So just a few reminders. Ultimately, the choice is yours. So here's what you need to remember. The true choice is yours and you shouldn't get stressed about it. Stress is a huge part of a toxic lifestyle that we want to avoid. You don't have to get products that are 100% toxin free as long as you're okay with that. Sometimes a low toxin change is just enough to improve your home and lifestyle and unburden your body just a little bit. And maybe you need to be as low toxin as possible to heal your body or to accommodate an ailment you or a loved one has within your home. Either way, you can find what you need. You just have to do the digging and research ahead of time. So these are the very important things to remember as you look at products and materials for your home and life. 
VOCs aren't a catch-all for every toxin. While VOCs are a huge contributor to poor indoor air quality and body burden, it is not a catch-all for every single toxin out there. Essentially, a VOC is a toxin, but not all toxins are VOCs. So a product that advertises VOC-free is great in that regard, but it can still contain other toxins and chemicals that might be just as harmful to your body and space. It's important to understand this and look at more than just VOCs. You can ask questions and get more information. Never ever be afraid or embarrassed to ask these questions. What's the worst that can happen? They might not be able to get you the information or share the information with you, which also gives you a good idea about the product or brand. You don't have to be demanding or annoying, but you can contact a brand or company regarding a product. They usually have people on their team who are there for just that reason. And besides, it's your home and you get to be the one who controls what comes inside. Without the knowledge of what is inside a product, you're opening yourself up to some big potential toxins. Make sure claims are for a product as a whole and not just a component. Some of the words we talk about that are greenwashing words are on packaging in reference to a particular component or ingredient. For example, if you were to buy a protein bar that used organic oats, but then contained almonds that weren't organic, they could advertise organic or organic oats, but that doesn't mean the whole bar is organic. It's the same with cleaning products and beauty products. They might tell you it's got a natural or even organic component, but maybe not all of it is healthy. Cross check your databases. Again, I have linked you in the blog this week to a post I did a few months ago. It breaks down just how to cross check products that you are looking to buy. You can check each database as they all rate products differently to get a good idea of what is really safe and double check your own research work. Use databases like Clearia, EWG, Think Dirty, and Made Safe to find a product you feel is healthy enough to come into your space. Not all certifications are created equal. Remember that if something is USDA organic, this means something totally different compared to a product that is Green Guard certified. These third-party certifications, while helpful when shopping, can also be very confusing. Make sure you understand what each of the big certifications actually means when it comes to the type of product that you're looking to buy. My new at-home course, Healthy Home Blueprint, which will be coming out in 2023, is going to walk you through all of these certifica certifications and which ones are best for which type of product. Finally, embrace a transparent company. Any company that is willing to share with you their ingredient list or detailed information about a product is one that I would start with. Brands like Ecos Paint that offer you a complete list of their paint ingredients aren't embarrassed of anything they put inside their product. It's a great starting off point as you can actually look up ingredients that you are not familiar with. Cleaning products that offer an ingredient list are another place I like to start. It's like someone giving you all the details before you buy because they want you to be empowered with knowledge. They want you to know exactly what you're getting so you don't make a purchase without completely understanding. So greenwashing can be a really frustrating part of being a consumer, especially when all you want to do is buy the best and healthiest products for your home and family. Knowing what to look for and being willing to research either a product or find a safe recommendation can help you in the long run eliminate toxins from your space. Thank you so much for being here. I love being able to share this information with you and I hope that you're able to take at least just one thing away from this week's video. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel as I put these videos out every single week with new content and new ideas on how to create a healthy home for yourself. I'll be back again next week with another Healthy House tip on creating an indoor space that truly supports your health and wellness.